Hello, guy. How are you doing? How are you doing? Really nice to have you. Thank you very uh, it much. It was great to meet you. Like uh, I didn't know you were Nigerian, and you you know all all the history around currencies in Nigeria and the Naira. I'm very current with what's happening over there because I've got a family, and then uh, we can see that uh, the situation is very very difficult for the common Nigerian. Explain yeah, yeah. to the audience what's going on in Nigeria. Yeah, it's, actually it's interesting because the project started in Nigeria. Okay. Uh, it was talking with farmers from Nigeria that the ID came up. Okay. Like we need to give farmers more visibility globally. Okay. They need to be famous, they okay. need to be, to be known, okay. uh, to provide two things, mm -hmm. uh, food transparency, so the, the, the consumers, especially in Nigeria, there's a lot of uh, food opacity. Yeah, so yeah. with the food transparency, we make the farmer known and he can post his product and the consumer can follow them. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden they become like the people to follow, yeah. they become famous. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. and that's what we want, to provide uh, food transparency. Yeah. And also food security because yeah, farmers yeah, yeah. create jobs at the local level and we want people who can grow the local economy and uh, that's yeah. why we also have a job marketplace in the app. Yeah, what, uh, what you're doing just to um, uh, zip in on that is that um, you are going to beat down the inflation because according to the information I have, if you're uh, in Nigeria, you want to buy full stock, let's take the example of tomatoes, fish, or whatever. Even fish is very yeah. expensive yeah. now. Not to talk about meat. It's 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 yeah. You see, so so uh, I think what you're doing is to make sure to beat down the prices. That's number one. Uh, to make sure that your company is helping to create uh, to uh, produce more food for Nigerians instead of importing food exactly. um, from outside. And again, coming to what you're doing also, I don't know, we're going to talk about the currency, yes. right? Yes, yeah. definitely. I mean, the inflation in, um, of the Naira falling, skyrocketing and falling every day, now hyperinflation. I think your company has a very big role to play in, in the case of beating down the Naira. Are you working in the Naira? Yes, uh, with the naira or in dollars, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's the the thing. Like the first thing that we talked about with farmers in Nigeria, yeah. uh, in different regions, in Jalingo, uh, Abuja, Lagos, Akure. The first thing that comes up is the currency, uh, because everybody knows how the naira has been beaten up yeah. for forty years. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The, Like the the purchasing power of the people has been destroyed. Yeah, completely. So my first project was to add the Naira into the app because okay. we use blockchain. What's the name of the app? So the, the name of the app is Fame. Okay. And that's a small presentation. Yeah. So it's a, it's a free app for everybody okay. around the world. Okay. We have now around 3,500 people around the world. Okay. But the majority of our community is in Nigeria. That's where it becomes very interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> like, and, and because they understand how bad the currency can be. Yeah. Because they suffered mm -hmm. so much because of the Naira. That's now right. they can find a way out of the Naira. Okay. At the beginning, I wanted to integrate the Naira into okay. the app. Okay. And I tried in Nigeria, but it was almost impossible. It was too expensive. Yeah. And the government is just uh, has just insane requests. Okay. So I gave up on the Naira. And I thought, after all, why should we trust the government? Yeah. That was the first problem okay. since 50 years. Okay. Why don't we just give access to the dollars to the okay. people? Because the Nigerian people uh, are the the third most um, people adopting crypto in the world yeah, and adopting okay. USDT, USDC. Okay. Okay. So they adopt the, the dollar on the blockchain. Okay. So they know it already. So I thought, okay, I just need to add the dollar to the blockchain yeah. and into the app so they can get paid in dollars. And I also added the euro. Okay. So now anyone in the world, in Nigeria, India, Philippines, okay. South America, they can just get paid in dollars and euro directly. Okay. And that can be life changing because yeah. you escape the local inflation, That's so right. you protect your wealth, okay. and then you can re inject the, the value in your local community by okay. employing people locally. Okay. And that circle helps a lot of people because they can save themselves, save, okay. save their savings, okay. and create wealth uh, locally. Okay. So the whole project of FAME is to stop waiting for the government to help us okay. and for the people to take control of their finances. And they, so that's again, why it's it's a blockchain tool. Yeah, yeah. So it has the financial services okay. and also the marketplace. 
Okay, some, some people who are watching this video in Nigeria might find a little bit uh, confusing yeah. uh, how to use the um, app, mm -hmm. you know. Um, what, I think we have to do another video to explain that. You yeah, have yeah, to explain yeah, that in, yeah. in details, in very simple terms and yeah. break it down for them. So if you are watching this video, uh, you have to wait for that part, part two of part this, two, yeah. Yeah, of this <laughs> exactly. interview. But let me come back to you. Um, it's very interesting to find out that you are an inventor. You invented this app. What inspired you and what pushed you to come to this wonderful app that has reached a lot of Nigerians are now using it. People around the world are using it, especially farmers. When we call farmers, they hold our belly, our yeah, stomach. Exactly, they feed us all. They feed us all. Yeah. 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 So, and no one knows them. So, what inspired you all the way from France? I hope so. Yeah. In a in a place called Chartres, yeah. uh, uh, hundred kilometers away from Paris, yeah. you were just sitting and bang, no. it came to you that you have to do this. How did yeah. that come to your mind? It's a good question. Like I've been a philosophy teacher for. 21 years. Okay. Uh, I started teaching in 2007. Okay. And uh, I've been teaching ethics. And ethics is all about inequality. Oh, so the, the root cause of mm, my unhappiness around the world is caused by inequality. So I've been thinking about how to reduce inequality globally. And I realized that money is the way governments control the people and how inequality is becoming more and more prevalent in different countries around the world. Right. So, and then I was teaching in Australia actually. Uh, between 2017 and 2020 I was living in Australia, okay. in the French uh, lycée there. Okay. I had some extra time to study finance okay. and to go deeper into that question. And I realized that, and that's how I discovered blockchain and crypto. Yeah, and yeah. I realized that if the people can emancipate themselves from local currency yeah. or fiat currency, yeah. they can uh, they can create a new model of finance where they are more um, independent. Okay. And that's how the idea came in. And then I wanted to create a, an ethical crypto, which is fame. That okay. It's also a crypto in itself. It's okay. a currency in itself. Okay. There are only ten thousand ever. So the biggest problem that humanity encounters is inequality, yeah. and inequality is usually driven by currency. Yeah, so yeah. the first idea was to create a, a very scarce currency, okay. only 10,000 units, okay. it's okay. the fame token. Okay. It has been distributed completely to the people around the world, and, and, and I realized that not only they need their currency, but they also need to use okay. strong currency around okay. the world, like okay. USDC and USDT. Okay. Okay. And when I launched this ethical currency, a farmer from Nigeria, from Akure, contacted me wow. on Twitter. Okay. And he said, okay, uh, thank you for the airdrop, because I gave them 10 each. Mm -hmm. But he said, uh, but you know, in Nigeria, we have much bigger problems. And I started to listen to him. Like, what, what is the life of a Nigerian farmer? Yeah. And since 2021, we've, we've, be, we've become friends. Now he's working in China okay. because he found a deal from China and Nigeria okay. to, to grow the local community of farmers in Akure. Okay. And, he, and he explained me what is the real life of a Nigerian farmer. Yeah. So I told him, like, okay, let's do it together. Yeah. We tried to do it together. We, we create our own farm, mm -hmm. tomato farm in 2021. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. So that's why I went to Nigeria. Okay. I met him. We okay. worked on the farm. We okay. cleared the land. Okay. We put the seeds, seed okay. meat. We okay. did everything. Okay. We had a lot of tomatoes, yeah. but he didn't know what to do with it. Oh, wow. And then I thought, okay, Twitter is banned in Nigeria. Like yeah. Twitter was banned yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. And there is no way to promote his tomatoes. Okay. So let's build an app. And that's how we started Fame. And it worked. And it worked. Like we, we published the tomatoes yeah. and, and other products. Okay. And then more and more Nigerian farmers started to use the app. Okay. And, uh, and then it became global. Uh, people starting to promote the product all over the world. We translated the app in five languages, okay. and we are adding languages every month. Okay. Okay. And the idea is to free up the the financial power of smallholder farmers around yeah. the world yeah. to give them more visibility, yeah. and yeah. they can get paid in strong currencies. Yeah. They don't need to endure the local inflation. Okay. Yeah. Now, just to conclude in this uh, conversation. The, um, between us, very interesting. 
What's your message for the Nigerian, uh, your message for the Nigerian farmers and those who would like to join you? Yeah. Uh, what's your message? I think, I think the people must emancipate themselves and not wait for the government. Uh, there are many things that are going wrong in Nigeria from all the farmers I talk to. And I think the best thing to do is to really focus on the local businesses, the local jobs, and the local production of food. It is insane that Nigeria has to import any kind of food when it is the best land in, in Africa. So why don't Nigeria become the basket of Africa? and solve a lot of the food crisis going on in Africa. And then your name please, because Bilal. Is, uh, yeah, Bilal. <laughs> My name is Bilal, Bilal I'm yeah. the founder of Fame. Uh, you can download the app for free, and that opens up a crypto wallet, a blockchain wallet, that you can use to receive payments in dollars and euro as soon as you subscribe. My name is Cyprien Jessel, your host, I'm the founder of Nollywood France Channel, and also a writer, and um, I'm a teacher also in France. So um, I'm meeting Bila for the first time, and it has been a wonderful meeting. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Cyprien. Okay.